Order! Order! You are an incorrigible delinquent at times. <laughs> Behave yourself, man! Now, Theresa May's arrival at number 10 was heralded as an end to spin and a return to old-fashioned plain speaking. She said Brexit means Brexit, which, of course, doesn't tell you anything. But efforts to find out what that means in practice have floundered with the Prime Minister demonstrating a flair for not answering the question. But she's certainly not the first, surely not the last leader, to give evasive responses to specific questions. I was entitled to express my views. I was entitled to be consulted. Did you threaten to overrule I, them? I was not entitled to instruct Derek Lewis, and I did not instruct him. But did you believe in old Labour? I believed in the values of the Labour Party, yes. No, did you believe in what they stood for? Did you believe in CND? Did you believe in union power not being curtailed? Did you believe in nationalisation, no privatisation? Did you I threaten did not, to overrule him? I did not overrule Derek did Lewis. Did you threaten to overrule him? I took advice on what I could or could not did do. Did you threaten to I overrule him, Mr Howard? And I acted scrupulously in accordance with that advice. So I want to make sure that children have those opportunities, that all schools are offering a good education for children. It's not quite an answer to my question about grammar schools, though. You're not answering the question whether you threatened well, to the, overrule him. The, the important aspect of this, which it's very clear to bear in mind, I'm sorry, I'm going to be Is frightfully this? rude, but... Yes, you but can... I, I'm sorry. <laughs> There's no point analysing uh, different words. The Prime Minister said we're not going to give a running commentary. What we're doing at the I'm moment is we're putting together... I'm not asking for a running commentary. I'm asking a simple, brief. but actually rather basic question. With respect, that is not answering the question of whether you threatened to overrule him. And I'm joined now by Dr Peter Bull from the University of York, uh, who has dug into the science of Theresa May and other leading politicians dodging the question. Uh, uh, Dr Bull, welcome to the programme. I understand you've come up that there are 35 different techniques politicians use to avoid answering the questions. Is, is that right? Can you give us some examples? Yes, I've identified at least 35 different ways of not replying to a question. Um, common forms include attacking the question. There are lots of ways you can attack the question. Um, you, it's the, you, based on a quotation you've taken out of context, uh, the quotation is mistaken, uh, it's based on a false presupposition. Mm -hmm. It's a hypothetical question. There are lots of ways you can do that. I've had all of those, particularly the hypothetical one, because almost every question people like me ask is hypothetical. You know, if you do this, uh, will this follow? Uh, but I understand Theresa May <laughs> Uh, has a whole new category of um, non-specific responses to specific questions. I think we saw some of that at PMQs yesterday. We certainly did, yes. Um, it, in fact, um, most of her non-replies uh, to the two interviews with Andrew Marr include this giving non-specific um, response to a specific question. I mean, the, um, the question, for example, about um, would she uh, uh, stop the Scots having a, a second referendum, um, when asked that, she actually says, well, um, it, it's not a question of whether um, they should, there would be another referendum, but there should be another referendum, which is an interesting technique. Both it doesn't answer the question that's being asked, but it rephrases the question in a way she wants to answer it. Uh, believe me, uh, Dr. Bull, I know exactly what you're talking about. I live with it on a daily basis. Do you have any, any advice to help me? <laughs> Well, one of the interesting things with the interviewers is the extent to which they follow up evasion by the politicians. Uh, and of course, you, in your um, uh, opening sequence, you quoted the very celebrated sequence mm. where Jeremy Paxman poses the same question, I think, 16 times. But to the extent to which you can follow up, draw attention to the evasion, and keep following it up, and I think that's the how many times you actually follow up okay. and you don't get a reply. Dr. Bull, thanks for joining us. Fascinating stuff. Good to talk to you.